Alrighty, my friends. I hope you are all ready for something different that I wasn't planning on doing today. There's dust on this because I haven't touched it in like months. Two. <laughs> I'll show you my case and everything here in just a second. Oh my gosh, Nietzsche with a whole bunch of bits. Holy crap. So here is my clarinet case. One. For those who care about instrument brands, it is the LeBlanc. A LeBlanc clarinet. There you go. I, ha I have, an, have an actual clarinet here. Um, let's see. Gosh, I haven't played in months. I hope everything... Instruments, if you leave them in their case too long, will kind of... Um, at least woodwind instruments will sometimes... Little corks and pads can like dry out and stuff. So It's beautiful. looks amazing. I'm glad you all like it. So let me get my... My reed... Um, for those who don't know about woodwind instruments, you got to get your weed wet. One thing, would one would think a LeBlanc would be white colored. <laughs> okay. Yes, maybe so. Your sister played the oboe for years, and all you remember is the maintenance for the reed was a nightmare. Double reed instruments, oboes, and... Uh, bassoons are worse a lot of times the, their teachers have to make their reeds for them because reed making for double for uh double reed instruments like oboes and uh bassoons are pretty crazy the reed actually tastes good <laughs> not really it's wood it's like having a toothpick in your mouth I'm hoping that my mic filters won't filter out sound from the clarinet, but let's find out. Let's make sure. Like I said, I haven't touched in a while, and I hope that all the springs and everything are still in place here. It's not a very good read. The worst thing, one thing I love about singing over um, playing an instrument or at least the woodwind instrument is for clarinet and saxophone players. Finding a good reed is like a pain in the arse. So that reed that I was playing was pretty airy and hard. So I did not like how that one played. Sound coming through. Okay, cool. I'll probably even turn up the gain just a little bit. Okay. Like I said, my level is not amazing of playing. I'm like a decent high school player, a lower level college level player, probably. That's better. So let's see if I can still remember Baby Elephant Walk. Here we go. Not so good. As you can tell, I'm out of practice. <laughs> that, is, that is a very poor version of Baby Elephant Walk. Let me see. Something like that. Again, I never, I never had the sheet music, so I kind of figured that out on my own. <laughs> uh, 
So a little middle, that little middle section I don't know super well. Well, there you go. There's there's a little bit of, um, uh, baby elephant walk. It's been so long since I played, I don't remember a lot of the stuff that I used to play. So there you go. There's a little bit of <laughs> clarinet for you all. I will put that away later. <laughs> the hammer-ons are tricky. Hammer-on, that's a, that's a guitar term, isn't it? There's a little bit of smearing. That's the style of clarinet I like, the kind of jazzy, slightly jazzy, slightly, I don't know, Dixieland does a lot of that kind of stuff. If I played clarinet again for fun, I'd probably want to try to do like Dixieland or jazz kind of stuff. So there we go. Hope you all enjoyed that little clarinet interlude. <laughs> uh, let's get back to the FDL, something that I might do a little bit better than clarinet. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's see.